Hi everyone, this is Yishak from Essential Education Tube. Today I brought you some very, very important lesson on SAD. Thanks for the invitation, Mr. Galeta. Um, I'm from Marvel English Tube, so this is organized in collaboration with Essential Education Tube based on your request. I've heard that many times you've been in uh, trouble dealing with SAD items. So Mr. Galeta and I talked about the situation in why not a lesson. So today I'm going to brief you on what SAD is and the most important sections, particularly dealing with the English section, I hope um, you'll find it to be very useful. So I'll start by telling you about what it is. As you all know, the ACD is kind of standardized test. That's a kind of test for university and college entrance. Actually, it's a kind of international test. But when it comes to our situation, a grade 12 student is expected to score a reasonable amount to see that whether he's fit or not. Um, by the way, aptitude means mental fitness. Uh, this refers to how smart you are. It's not merely about knowledge, but it's just about a combination of different kinds of disciplines. And it makes it hard for a student to score high grades, usually. So, and now, I'll try to mix some of my hierarchy in between so that we can understand each other. Um, why do we take SAD? Because universities would like to know how competent we are. Usually, our language and mathematics skills are asked. But the math part is somewhat easy, so the students don't usually find it hard. The English part gives you a hard time. So, you got to deal with it in a wonderful manner. So today, I brought you the verbal reasoning part. The Ethiopian entrance exam uh, consists of 60 items divided into two sections, the verbal reasoning and the quantitative reasoning. The verbal reasoning refers to the language part, and it's got a series of uh, sections. So I'll describe it there. By the way, we've been dealing with such uh, things for years, so we are quite at home with it. And I hope if you attend this lesson, you will benefit out of it. So, shall we go to the sections? All right, uh, here I've got the sections and one example for each item. Um, so I'll try to show you how we can deal with it. As you know, the verbal reasoning section refers to the English section. It's the English part. So you are expected to be good at your reading, vocabulary, and maybe some reasoning qualities. Well, the first section is analogy. Analogy is just making some comparisons between uh, two items. For example, you will be given a pair of words in capital letters. As you can see, compass, navigation, and the words given are usually in cups. Okay? Compass, navigation. So your task is finding more or less the same relation between the other pairs given in the options. How do you relate the two? You know, a compass is a tool that is used for navigation. So apply the same sentence to the rest of the pairs, like is a pilot a tool for flight? No, no. Is time a tool for clock? No way. Is camera a tool to used photography? Yes. Now there is a relation. So that the relation that exists between a compass and navigation is also the same as the relation between, the relation between a camera and photography. So there is a tool and purpose relation. 
a tool and purpose relation. So you deal with analytics this way, it's very easy. Once you may once you construct a kind of sentence or you work it out the relation to the word is it's very easy. And that's how we do know. But the period with yellow ticket and yang unit kawak it. The merch of the yellow period were rich to the more tamas as a relation, my fellow. Mazamid. Please give me a couple of no. You say to a rich, rarer than usual. Slow and only, somewhat. Mazamid, I kept the menabok ala beyond. And now I'm still going to do. Trying to do as many questions as possible because there is a likelihood of repetition. And I say it like, Fatano Chuzuzi, Yemen de Gagamber, to call out to come and that. So let's have a very good idea of the quarter. And then you'll be good at your vocabulary. You'll let the technique come tomorrow. And then you just feel that that's familiar. Psychologically, you really call out confidence. Call out to let the young section a classification. Classification, as the name indicates, is all about grouping. And now, Mr. Tatchon, usually in this section, you'll be given four items. Out of which one is different? And you will later. And now, many like instruction, choose the old one out, or choose the one which does not belong to the group. So these are the common instructions. Anyway, you're going to select the one which is different. The rest three have something in common. Let's see: orange, apple, rose, lemon. Which one is different? Obviously, rose is different. And why? Because it's a flower. The rest, orange, apple, and lemon are all fruits. Rose is a flower. So this is the one which is different. It's very easy. You may be asking. Uh, you know, you can expect D from kinds of items. Uh, at times, you just need knowledge on biology, geography, chemistry. It's interdisciplinary. So, if somebody has general knowledge or is good at many things, may find it easier to answer such items. I hope uh, the next one is antonym. Antonym is uh, referring to opposite words. So, antonym is opposite. You'll be given a word in block letters like this, stingy, and you are expected to find the one which is opposite to stingy. Here we've got four options, magnanimous, diligent, frugal, impoverished. Stingy means minor, sisita, kuat ari, right? And now you see the karayla woman, chair, legas. So the one which means let us share the more magnanimous, which means generous in the man. So yes, stingy takarani or antony, magnanimous no what? Diligent takari frugal, rastoma said stingy, another meaning for frugal. Impoverished means you know very poor or dehamarit, no? The man you're taking antony doesn't. How many of you say you like kayana section and then take a say you? من دون سرچینو من اتی که توی کاری من اون دت هم نم. لیلا بیزی بسیفی بزیم یوتیوب چنل اندیوم به مارفل انگلیش تیوست تگر این تا سلیان دون سرچین مانی کوچ سپسیالی کوچینس فروم ده ناشنال اکسام این سرای. اگر من یه امپروف تاره کرد لاتو دی بای دی یه گاره سیلات یه کن تو دویت. و در نیست سرچینی است. سینانی سینانی یا و دم تاکت دم او سیمیلر سیمیلر Similar to the message. Can you set up? You can use the message to share with you. Message. Renovate. The word is given in block letter. It's renovate. Options: divide, defend, renew, and demolish. So the one which get the same meaning is renew. Renovate. Madet. Madet. So renovate. Madet. 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 Same as renew. So madet. The message is given. Still, synonym and term are not elementary when it comes to the terms. The group is not going to be able to do it. It's not going to be able to do it. It's not going to be good at your vocabulary. Big words, smart, not as well. 
so many times case it is mushka rasa masrat yasfege ya adul misalatu confidence achu mechamu indegena no bizu ye seti fetenaut yemedigagen bahar yalachu lemisali ye 2003 woy 2004 la yeneberu kasarmet bohala ya gar aizer mercha woy mer woy demo tiyek rasu limeta ichilena working out many satellite store exams kayes mean get lo demo language use language use uh, mainly what about grammar structure na vocabulary language use ke grammar ga yetegenay to so je kech noralo lemisale the old man living next door living next door is the next door kick the buckets now the end of line, the meaning of the end of line term is, is it to mean died, play football, get angry, through the bucket. Well, to keep the bucket means to die. To keep the bucket means to die. This is an idiomatic expression. This is an idiomatic expression. It's idiom. So usually you expect a different expression, not the ordinary one. In most cases, some sayings Similes, idiomatic expressions are involved in languages or hard grammar structures. We'll have these questions in detail at other times. Okay. The next one is sentence completion. Sentence completion, as you can understand from the term, you'll begin with a sentence with blank spaces. Uh, normally, sentence blank spaces with blank spaces are common in ordinary English exams, but this one is different. It may have two blank spaces in a single sentence. That makes it harder to put words uh, and organize your ideas and comprehend it into um, meaningful sentence. It makes it very hard. And you let blank spaces the young man was quickly promoted when his employer saw how blank he was. So context take a natural options, indifferent, lethargic, serious, and excited. You got on the meanings first before you decide where to put it in and which word to put it. You got on the meanings. Let me say indifferent means neutral, not concerned or not interested. Lethargic, but I'm the cover. Lacking some kind of energy. Malatno. A serious means hard worker, tatari, diligent. Malatno. And excited means happy. And there is a key word. The young one was quickly promoted. Promoted malat. It get again ne tashashale right. So when his employer alakau nins ninsla yebatno it get again yo. Obviously tatari slowne. So contextually you can put. The word is in the Z7. We'll have more items from the national exam on other um, YouTube uh, sessions. The next section of the video is basically the word that I'm going to say that I'm going to reading passage. No, reading passage. No, I'm just saying souls to let when we're talking about some arat million or something like that. I'm reading passage. I'm going to tell you that I'm a little bit crude and not encouraging the arat channel. But no, the super relaxed video passage. I'm going to tell you reading passage. I'll be back. You know, we get know the most important part, logically, and I think that reasoning. And as you know, reasoning in quality, you test me, assess me, and all that. But in you'll be given with uh, premises, and now statements that will conclude my leg. When conclusion, we set our statement and our conclusion, set to yet new conclusion, follow our guide, valid, no, valid, and then when after uh, the paragraph line, some facts are set up. And some facts which, but them assess them. Go to the marriage judge and assess them. Take like that. The peasant word problem in it. You can see the account. And then, but which YouTube lesson which like in Sarah. But see the YouTube lesson which you know kind of glimpse of SAT. I can actually mislead you. But the cat eye. But when you watch your videos like the picture, the picture section which you know that no more. Ya, bazi mula ni, kau yang lepas tu mana, temaru tu cuma rap sahaja. Jom zaman ni cenderamu, mengano, merata lepas cuma ni, ni, tapi kita lepas cuma ni. 
ብዙ ልምዱ አለ በተማሪ በእናንተ አስተያየት ላይ ተመስርተን እንግዲህ ከሚስተር ገለታም ጋር እንዲሁም ደግሞ በማርቪል ኢንግሊሽ ዩ ተጋግዘን እንሰራለን አይፕ ዩ ላይክ ኢት ኢፍ ዩ ላይክ ኢት ኮመንት ኮመንት ኦን ዘ ሪሰን መሻሻል ያለባችሁ ወን መስተካከል መጽመር ያለበት ነገር ኮመንት አድርጉ በርግጥ ግን እንትቻለ ነገር ይላችሁ በጣለው ለዛሬ እንግዲህ ይትበቃለች ቴንክ ዩ ሶ ማች ኤንድ ሲ ዩ ኔክስት ታይም ባይ